Nicolas Bourbaki French pronunciation, Nicolas Boubaki, is the collective pseudonym of a group of mainly French mathematicians. Their aim is to reformulate mathematics on an extremely abstract and formal but self-contained basis in a series of books beginning in 1935. With the goal of grounding all of mathematics on set theory, the group strives for rigor and generality. Their work led to the discovery of several concepts and terminologies still used, and influenced modern branches of mathematics. While there is no one person named Nicolas Bourbaki, the Bourbaki Group, officially known as the Association des Collaborateurs de Nicolas Bourbaki Association of Collaborators of Nicolas Bourbaki, has an office at the École Normale Supérieure in Paris. Topic. The group In 1934, young French mathematicians from various French universities felt the need to form a group to jointly produce textbooks that they could all use for teaching. André Weil organized the first meeting on 10 December 1934 in the basement of a Parisian grill room, while all participants were attending a conference in Paris. Accounts of the early days vary, but original documents have now come to light. The founding members were all connected to the École Normale Supérieure in Paris and included Henri Carton, Claude Chevalier, Jean Coulomb, Jean Delsarte, Jean Dudonnet, Charles Arisman, René de Passel, Zolom Mandelbrot and André Weil. There was a preliminary meeting, towards the end of 1934. Jean Le Ray and Paul Dubrail were present at the preliminary meeting but dropped out before the group actually formed. Other notable participants in later days were Hyman Bass, Laurent Schwartz, Jean-Pierre Serre, Alexander Grothendieck, Jean-Louis Cachoul, Samuel Eilenberg, Serge Lang and Roger Godement. The original goal of the group had been to compile an improved mathematical analysis text, it was soon decided that a more comprehensive treatment of all of mathematics was necessary. There was no official status of membership, and at the time the group was quite secretive and also fond of supplying disinformation. Regular meetings were scheduled totaling about four weeks a year, during which the group would discuss vigorously every proposed line of every book. Members had to resign by age 50, which allegedly resulted in a complete change of personnel by 1958. However, historian Lilian Beaulieu was quoted as never having found written affirmation of this rule. The atmosphere in the group can be illustrated by an anecdote told by Laurent Schwartz. Dudonnet regularly and spectacularly threatened to resign unless topics were treated in their logical order, and after a while others played on this for a joke. Godman's wife wanted to see Dudonnet announcing his resignation, and so on one occasion while she was there Schwartz deliberately brought up again the question of permuting the order in which measure theory and topological vector spaces were to be handled, to precipitate a guaranteed crisis, the name, Bourbaki, refers to a French general, Charles Denis Bourbaki, it was adopted by the group as a reference to a student anecdote about a hoax mathematical lecture, and also possibly to a statue. It is said that Weil's wife Eveline supplied Nicholas. This is more or less confirmed by Robert Maynard, according to biographer Amir D. Assel, the collective can be divided into generations. Bourbaki was always a very small group of mathematicians, typically numbering about 12 people. Its first generation was that of the founding fathers, those who created the group in 1934, Weil, Cardin, Chevalli, Delsarte, De Passel, and Dudonnet. Others joined the group, and others left its ranks, so that some years later there were about 12 members, and that number remained roughly constant. Laurent Schwartz was the only mathematician to join Bourbaki during the war, so his is considered an intermediate generation. After the war, a number of members joined, Jean-Pierre Serre, Pierre Samuel, Jean-Louis Kozel, Jacques Dixmeyer, Roger Godement, and Sammy Eilenberg. These people constituted the second generation of Bourbaki. In the 1950s, the third generation of mathematicians joined Bourbaki. These people included Alexander Grothendieck, François Bruhat, Serge Lang, the American mathematician John Tate, Pierre Cartier, and the Swiss mathematician Armand Borel. 
Assel also stressed the importance of the group's usage of structuralism, a multidisciplinary concept which emphasizes the structural relationships between objects, the objects themselves being incidental. Assel further emphasized the influence of Bourbaki's work on anthropology via Weil's collaboration with Claude Levi Strauss. Topic. Pranks The Bourbaki group released a few humorous hoaxes related to the fake life of Nicolas Bourbaki. For example, the group released a wedding announcement, relating the marriage of Betty Bourbaki daughter of Nicholas with a certain Hector Paytard Hector Firecrackers in English. In November 1968, a mock obituary of Nicholas Bourbaki was released during one of the seminars, containing a few mathematical puns. The group is however still active as of 2018, organizing seminars and having released a book in 2016. Topic. Books by Bourbaki Bourbaki's main work is the Elements of Mathematics Elements de Mathematique series. This series aims to be a completely self-contained treatment of the core areas of modern mathematics. Assuming no special knowledge of mathematics, it takes up mathematics from the very beginning, proceeds axiomatically and gives complete proofs. The dates indicated below are for the first edition of the first chapter of each book. Most of the books were re-edited several times with significant changes between editions, and the books were released in several parts containing different chapters e.g. Book 2, Algebra, was released in five parts, the first in 1942 with chapters 1, 2, and 3, and the last in 1980 containing chapter 10. Bourbaki, Nicholas Livre I, Théorie des Ensembles Book 1, Set Theory in French. Bourbaki, Nicolas, 1942. Livre 2, Algebra, Book 2, Algebra in French. Bourbaki, Nicolas, 1940. Livre 3, Topology, Book 3, Topology in French. Bourbaki, Nicolas, 1949. Livre IV, Functions d'une variable réelle, Book 4, Functions of one real variable in French. Bourbaki, Nicholas, 1953. Livre V, Espaces Vectoriles Topologics, Book 5, Topological Vector Spaces, in French. Bourbaki, Nicholas, 1952. Livre V, Integration, Book 6, Integration, in French. Bourbaki, Nicholas, 1961. Livre 7, Algebra Commutative, Book 7, Commutative Algebra, in French. Bourbaki, Nicolas, 1960. Livre 8, Groups et Algebras de l'I, Book 8, Li Groups and Algebras, in French. Bourbaki, Nicolas, 1967. Livre X, Théories Spectrales, Book 9, Spectral Theory, in French. Bourbaki, Nicolas, 1967. Livre X, Varietes Différentielles et Analytiques, Book 10, Differentiable and Analytic Manifolds, in French. Bourbaki, Nicolas, 2016. Livre 11, Topology Algebraique, Book 11, Algebraic Topology, in French. The book Varietes Différentielles et Analytiques was a fascicule de résultats, that is, a summary of results, on the theory of manifolds, rather than a worked-out exposition. The still incomplete volume on spectral theory Theories Spectrals from 1967 was for almost four decades the last new book to be added to the series. After that several new chapters to existing books as well as revised editions of existing chapters appeared until the publication of chapters 8 and 9 of Commutative Algebra in 1983. A long break in publishing activity followed, leading many to suspect the end of the publishing project. However, Chapter 10 of Commutative Algebra appeared in 1998, and after another long break a completely re-written and expanded Chapter 8 of Algebra was published in 2012. More importantly, the first four chapters of a completely new book on algebraic topology were published in 2016. 
The new material from 2012 and 2014 address some references to forthcoming books in the book on Lie groups and algebras. There remain other such references, some very precise, to expected additional chapters of the book Spectral Theory. Besides the Elements de Mathematique series, lectures from the Seminaire Bourbaki also have been periodically published in monograph form since 1948. Topic. Influence on mathematics in general Notations introduced by Bourbaki include the symbol display style varnothing for the empty set and a dangerous bend symbol, and the terms injective, surjective, and bijective, the emphasis on rigor may be seen as a reaction to the work of Henri Poincaré, who stressed the importance of free-flowing mathematical intuition, at a cost of completeness in presentation. The impact of Bourbaki's work initially was great on many active research mathematicians worldwide. For example, our time is witnessing the creation of a monumental work, an exposition of the whole of present-day mathematics. Moreover this exposition is done in such a way that the common bond between the various branches of mathematics become clearly visible, that the framework which supports the whole structure is not apt to become obsolete in a very short time, and that it can easily absorb new ideas. It provoked some hostility, too, mostly on the side of classical analysts, they approved of rigor but not of high abstraction. Around 1950, also, some parts of geometry were still not fully axiomatic. In less prominent developments, one way or another, these were brought into line with the new foundational standards, or quietly dropped. This led to a gulf with the way theoretical physics was practiced. Bourbaki's direct influence has decreased over time. This is partly because certain concepts which are now important, such as the machinery of category theory, are not covered in the treatise. The completely uniform and essentially linear referential structure of the books became difficult to apply to areas closer to current research than the already mature ones treated in the published books, and thus publishing activity diminished significantly from the 1970s. It also mattered that, while especially algebraic structures can be naturally defined in Bourbaki's terms, there are areas where the Bourbaki approach was less straightforward to apply. On the other hand, the approach and rigor advocated by Bourbaki have permeated the current mathematical practices to such extent that the task undertaken was completed. This is particularly true for the less applied parts of mathematics. The Bourbaki Seminar Series founded in post-World War II Paris continues, it has been going on since 1948, and contains more than 1,000 items. It is an important source of survey articles, with sketches or sometimes improvements of proofs. The topics range through all branches of mathematics, including sometimes theoretical physics. The idea is that the presentation should be on the level of specialists, but should be tailored to an audience which is not specialized in the particular field. Topic. Appraisal of the Bourbaki perspective The underlying drive, in Weil and Chevalier at least, was the perceived need for French mathematics to absorb the best ideas of the Göttingen school, particularly Hilbert and the modern algebra school of Noether, Artin and van der Werden. It is fairly clear that the Bourbaki point of view, while encyclopedic, was never intended as neutral. Quite the opposite, it was more a question of trying to make a consistent whole out of some enthusiasms, for example for Hilbert's legacy, with emphasis on formalism and axiomatics. But always through a transforming process of reception and selection. Their ability to sustain this collective, critical approach has been described as something unusual. The following is a list of some of the criticisms commonly made of the Bourbaki approach. Pierre Cartier, a Bourbaki member between 1955 and 1983, said that Essentially no analysis beyond the foundations, nothing about partial differential equations, nothing about probability. There is also nothing about combinatorics, nothing about algebraic topology, nothing about concrete geometry. And Bourbaki never seriously considered logic. 
Dudoné himself was very vocal against logic. Anything connected with mathematical physics is totally absent from Bourbaki's text. In addition, algorithms are considered off-topic and almost completely omitted. Analysis is treated softly, without hard estimates. Measure theory is developed from a functional analytic perspective. Taking the case of locally compact measure spaces as fundamental focuses the presentation on radon measures and leads to an approach to measurable functions that is cumbersome, especially from the viewpoint of probability theory. However, the last chapter of the book addresses limitations, especially for use in probability theory, of the restriction to locally compact spaces. Logic is treated minimally, furthermore, Bourbaki makes only limited use of pictures in their presentation. Pierre Cartier is quoted as later saying, The Bourbaki were Puritans, and Puritans are strongly opposed to pictorial representations of truths of their faith. In general, Bourbaki has been criticized for reducing geometry as a whole to abstract algebra and soft analysis. While several of Bourbaki's books have become standard references in their fields, some have felt that the austere presentation makes them unsuitable as textbooks. The book's influence may have been at its strongest when few other graduate level texts in current pure mathematics were available. Between 1950 and 1960, in the longer term, the Manifesto of Bourbaki has had a definite and deep influence. In secondary education, the new math movement corresponded to teachers influenced by Bourbaki. In France, the change was secured by the Lichnerovich Commission. Topic. Dudoné as speaker for Bourbaki Public discussion of, and justification for, Bourbaki's thoughts has in general been through Jean Dudoné, who initially was the «scribe» of the group, writing under his own name. In a survey of Le Choix Bourbachique written in 1977, he did not shy away from a hierarchical development of the «important» mathematics of the time. He also wrote extensively under his own name, nine volumes on analysis, perhaps in belated fulfillment of the original project or pretext, and also on other topics mostly connected with algebraic geometry. While Dudoné could reasonably speak on Bourbaki's encyclopedic tendency and tradition, it may be doubted, after innumerable Frank Ty's toy, Dudoné. Hush, Dudoné. Remarks at the meetings whether all others agreed with him about mathematical writing and research. In particular Serre has often championed greater attention to problem solving, within number theory especially, not an area treated in the main Bourbaki texts. Dudoné stated the view that most workers in mathematics were doing ground-clearing work, in order that a future Riemann could find the way ahead intuitively open. He pointed to the way the axiomatic method can be used as a tool for problem solving, for example by Alexander Grothendieck. Others found him too close to Grothendieck to be an unbiased observer. Comments in Paul Turin's 1970 speech on the award of a Fields Medal to Alan Baker about theory building and problem solving were a reply from the traditionalist camp at the next opportunity, Grothendieck having received the previous Fields Medal in absentia in 1966. Topic. See also Bourbaki dangerous bend symbol Bourbaki wit theorem Jacobson Bourbaki theorem people Arthur Bess Blanche Descartes John Rainwater GW Peck equals equals notes <laughs>